On Thursday night, January 29th, the Jackson County Board of Commissioners passed a resolution calling on the North Carolina General Assembly to petition Congress to enact the 28th Amendment of the Constitution, declaring that corporations are not people, money is not speech, and that the Supreme Court's 2010 Citizens United decision should be reversed, allowing government to regulate corporate political campaign contributions. In voting four to one in favor, Jackson County became the first county in Western North Carolina to pass this resolution. The only dissenting vote came from Commissioner Charles Elders, the lone Republican remaining on the Jackson County Commission. Prior to this, the townships of Franklin, Bryson City, Forest Hills, Highlands, and Webster had passed similar resolutions along with the city of Asheville. Several municipalities in the central and eastern parts of the state have also passed similar resolutions as pressure is beginning to mount for North Carolina to join 11 other states who have already petitioned Congress for this purpose. Community groups who are part of the movement to amend the Constitution were heartened by Jackson County's stand and vowed to continue to build on the momentum in the state and throughout the nation as they plan to bring the fight to the North Carolina General Assembly where the 2015 session has just begun. Next is our legislative section. Uh, first item is item 10A, the resolution for the North Carolina General Assembly on the move to amend resolution. It's resolution number 15-02. At this moment, I'm going to recognize Mr. Alan Lomax if he would uh, come forward and speak <coughs> concerning the resolution. Uh, good evening, Commissioners. Um, on behalf of the Western Carolina affiliate of the National Move to Amend, I'd like to profoundly thank you for putting this resolution on the agenda tonight and for understanding the urgent relevance and importance to our democracy uh, that uh, amending the Constitution uh, presents. Uh, since the uh, passage of the Supreme Court decision on Citizens United uh, versus the United States Board of Election, if you vote to pass this resolution, as we hope and believe that you will, you will join over 500 other communities around the nation who are creating a movement to bring forth a 28th Amendment to the Constitution. Since the Supreme Court's decision on Union not, U, of Citizens United, uh, hundreds of ballot initi initiatives on this issue have been offered to voters throughout the country in both liberal and conservative states and districts. In every single case, without exception, the people have voted overwhelmingly in favor of a constitutional amendment to end corporate personhood and money as free speech. It's clear that Americans understand that the massive influx of corporate money into politics has distorted and corrupted our electoral process. It's also clear that Americans know that corporations are not people and that money is not a form of free speech and that money can and should be regulated by local, state, and federal governments. The people know uh, that corporate money in politics is a form of power that negates the principles of one person, one vote. As fellow citizens, we urge you to pass this resolution and to send it on to our state government so that North Carolina can become, can begin the process of joining other states who are petitioning the U.S. Congress to create the 28th Amendment to the Constitution that ends corporate personhood and that declares that money is not speech. If any of you have any questions at this time, I will be happy to uh, address those questions. Questions of the board for Mr. Lomax. My main concern is probably what's not in this. Uh, we all know that uh, anybody running for state office, district office, or going for the United States Senator or President of the United States, that's very expensive. And uh, they have to have money to be able to put their message forward. But I'll go back and use myself uh, 
just to run him for one county commissioner. This past election, I did not solicit one penny. However, I did receive a few donations, which I'm very grateful. But I'm uh, grateful that I was able to finance my own campaign. And I would like to feel that when I run for re-election or somebody else runs for county commissioner of this county, that they will still be entitled to use their own money for their campaign, uh, which many of them feel like me, they don't want to impose on people to pay their way. And some of them may not be fortunate to do it, but be real good people and got good ideas and deserve to serve this county board. And uh, that's why I'm opposed to uh, this as it's written. Do you have, is, do you have a question? That, that, that's just my statement. Are there any questions? Any questions for Mr. Lomax or any, anybody want to make a comment? Uh, sir. I, I do feel it's important. Uh, and I agree with uh, Commissioner Elder. So uh, I don't think in any way this negates the right of an individual to spend their own money um, to run for office. I think the problem is it's where these large corporations are spending millions and billions of dollars to help control elections by uh, supporting candidates and overwhelming the process and uh, we all know that who've run for office uh, how burdensome it is to fill out all those forms for every penny that you have to account for and then um, the restrictions that are in place but then yet you look at these large corporations that can through PACs put money together and spend without any concern and influence the outcome of who's elected by the overwhelming amount of money that's spent. So I'm very concerned about it. I think this is the first effort in trying to move forward to try to, to deal with the problem. I know it's been dealt with from a bipartisan approach in Congress. Uh, both Democrats and Republicans on both sides of the aisle joined together to, uh, to adopt a bipartisan legislation for campaign finance and um, that was struck down uh, through this uh, method uh, that the Supreme Court done. So I think this is something that's desperately needed. Any other questions or comments? Madam Clerk, if you would please. Commissioner Deeds? Agree to Mr. Elder? No. Mr. Jones? Yes. Mr. Green? Yes. And Jeremy? Yes. Motion carries four to one. Thank you all. Thank you.